Now going over to the political part podcast, you have Biden seeming to defecate himself during a D-Day celebration last week, and as youth might say, going viral. Now, at least he did suit up, as all men should. Now, this was posted on the good old ex-Twitter. I first noticed it by the Hodge Twins, which I thought I was already following them. Oh, I always forget, so I am following them, it's just not subscribed. Now, they simply said, quote, Biden just pooped his diaper. And we'll go ahead and I'll make that screen bigger here so you can see a little bit. I think it was, might be even a little volume. So you got Biden standing there in a suit, anti, as well as his wife, not really a doctor, uh, Jill. Yeah, she's not, she's the phony doctor who likes credentialism. She's not the one who'll actually help you if you have a heart attack. You got a couple of other folks. Now, without too much further ado. Uh, can't have that music because YouTube will take it away. Which is why I always upload on alternatives, including the big green one, which I appreciate you subscribing on all platforms. So you have Biden shaking the hand, looking distracting, and he bends over. So he's squatting on stage. And it looks like he's relieving himself. Uh, one person in the comments said, well, maybe he's just really tired or sad. Maybe he's crying, which... No. <laughs> yeah, it, that's, not the stand, that's not the body posture you make when you're doing that. That's when you're doing other things. Ironically, remember during the 2020 election, we were, we were told, like, oh, yeah. I don't know, was it 20? Yeah, 2020 election, they said, dignity is on the line. Other countries are going to laugh if we elect Trump. Yeah. Now, this went viral on this post alone. It got 1.7 million views and 22,000 likes. Which, again, I can't believe. Yeah, it's almost heartbreaking to have. Imagine you're. I mean, a lot of people are saying it's almost elder abuse when you have his wife pushing him more and more into politics. But again, he clearly. I don't know how many people feel he clearly understands what's going on around him. And you're at the time of your life, you should be enjoying it. You should be relaxing at a nursing home. Again, depending on your age and mental capacity, some people age gracefully than others. Every use case is a little different. And yet, I mean, who's, I would love to know, like, who's really pushing him to run? Who's really pushing him for more and more power and wealth? Now, one of the first posts comes from Too Late Blue saying 81 million, po 81 million votes, folks, gained 157 likes. Cash Lauren says Biden embarrasses the U.S. on the world stage again, gained 169 likes. Andrew says, oh, Impress, um, pertaining to quote Jill saying, Did you crap? And she, yeah, looks like she's whispering to him. That was a different angle. Oh, Lord. Uh, who's that? But yeah, we got Jill Biden and Biden's you know, bent over and she's whispering. They got 138 likes. Nappy says, Imagine being the poor intern that has to change that diaper. And as Biden pointing and says, Hey, Joe, boxes or briefs. And he says, Depends to get like 192 likes, which this. Yeah. Some jobs are more difficult than others. Some are truly scarring. I there's some things that I, I can't comprehend how much that intern is making or what how much power they promised that person. But yeah, there, there's some things that are just horrifying. Going down more and more. Joel Schomber says, I love how Jill covers her mouth when she snaps at him like that. Like 102 likes. One bad dude says, good thing the babysitter Jill is there. And it says, Jill the babysitter, Bayou and Hunter. And it has, says, did the relationship start out normal and healthy? Pretty sure. Oh, there's a meme where you have the same picture of uh, Biden and her. And it was, she was 30 and she was 15. So let me know in the comments if you've seen that statistic. They got 113 likes. Bossy Mother says, when your president looks older than the World War II veterans he is honoring, it's time to retire. At 533 likes, which, again, a lot of people don't age gracefully in terms of, you know, physically looking, which, case in point. But, to me, that's not the biggest issue of him looking old. It's the, I, in terms of physically, like, your facial features and stuff like that, is the cognitive and then body functions. Going down more and more, Biden is corrupt. That's the profile name. Says, Jill covers her mouth. She says... Yo, you're not in the bathroom. Don't crap yourself. Got 12 likes. Real Trump takes says after Trump is elected president, he will have a lot of cleaning to do. Getting 19 likes. Let's see, scroll more and more. I see a lot of contrarian statements. Jeez, some did a Photoshop where it's a time. We the people has a picture of Time magazine. It's Biden where he's holding a diaper with a stain on it. Got 34 likes. Someone has a Photoshop of. 
was it depends but they renamed it at by dens it says white house approved adjustable underwear for when joe knows he's gotta go getting 37 likes someone called him shitler picture oh it's photoshop is five messy pants it says we've got a code brown at marine one the turtle head has left a shelf got 14 likes oh there's another video of him oh jeez <laughs> This was, was it a couple months ago where he was standing, I think he was standing in front of the White House, and that same body language was so in Photoshop, things actually come out of him. That got 169 likes. Planet of memes showing up with a meme instead of just text. Usually it's a 50 50 shot. So they actually did their name. So Planet of memes is a picture of kind of the little security check when you go to a website and say click all the squares that shows a motorcycle or something like that. It's a, it's a picture of Biden and it's broken up into nine tiles. It says select all the squares. With an embarrassment. And it's, you know, the check is on every square. That got 58 likes. Here. So as you might say, ratioed. Now, I did check out a couple of people who posted this who are politically on the, uh, in the middle on the left. And a very common comment was them saying, well, he's probably just really tired. Which, again, if you're working out, like, really, you know, if you're at the gym, you a lot of cardio, you're lifting really hard. You used to see people put their hands on knees or maybe they'll, they'll sit down for a second. That's pretty common when you're at the gym or, you know, at the, you know, jujitsu class. But that's also not exactly the pose that he's posting up there, as youth might say. And it, as youth also might say, looks sus, which thanks to the Urban Dictionary, I now know what that means. But, yeah, I, I can't help but think, are they going to wheel in someone like Gavin Newsom for the 2024 election? Is he going to make it that long? They already, I mean, they say there's going to be a debate with basically no one that could, you know, no audience. They're going to cut off the mic if you go over. It's going to be a very controlled, also known as artificial debate between Biden and Trump. And I just don't see how it's going to get any better. I mean, that being, I know the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry is able to do magical things. And during the debates in 2020, I don't know what they gave Biden, but he was much more articulate on the stage for the first um, part of the debate. Yeah. Jeez Louise, I might have to get some of that magical juice whatever they're doing. Obviously joking. But the, he seems to be on more articulate sometimes than others. I don't know if that's a long-term solution, though. Because, again, we're seeing a lot of these, like, short interfaces or short news clips where he just doesn't seem to have it together. And then, granted, I know a lot of people are going to vote for him just because they're voting for the establishment. They're voting for the Democratic Party. Just like people who vote for Republican, regardless of who's on the ticket. So there is a certain percentage that's kind of built in, so to say. I know a lot of people in the middle, a lot of people who are libertarian, a lot of people are just thinking, I don't know, this does, guy doesn't seem to have it together. And these videos, these, I mean, this is supposed to help his campaign. He's supposed to be you know, celebrating these, you know, these heroes for D-Day. And it's having the opposite effect. It's not great. It's just certainly not good marketing. They'll be interested to see what kind of moves they try to make on the chessboard, what type of advertising they lean into. But right now, these, you know, I think they'll be more successful using, a, the, like just like a couple years ago, using a basement campaign where just stay inside, don't go out, don't basically do anything. Because the more interaction he has with the cameras, the less he's doing well, the worse he's doing in the polls. So it's not helping him out. So I think if I were to plan it out, I think it moves on the political chessboard. I think they're going to drastically limit the amount of interaction he has in the public. They're going to do a lot of controlled news clips and controlled interviews where, again, we've seen them when he posts some videos on, you know, X Twitter, where they'll have it so that it's his crew recording him on camera when they, where they can make, you know, they can take, they can do a take hundreds of times until they get it just right. And there's no, they can decrease the amount of brain farts and awkward moments. I think they're going to try to ramp up that strategy. So, as always, let me know in the comments. I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So, if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.